So myself Arthur Clive, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Akshaya College of Engineering and Technology. So in this video we are going to see about cold working process and what are the differences between cold working process and hot working process. So cold working, so it is the deforming the material at the temperature lower than the recrystallization temperature of the work of the metal is known as cold working. So the recrystallization temperature is about one half of the absolute te melting temperature but generally cold working is carried out only at room temperature. In cold working process greater pressure is required than the required pressures in the hot working. As the metal is in more rigid state it is not permanently deformed until the stress exceeds the elastic limit. Next, in cold working process, both strength and hardness increases due to strain hardening but the ductility decreases. The good surface finish and high dimensional accuracy are achieved. So, if cold working is beyond certain limits, the metal will fracture before reaching the desired shape and size. Moreover, cold working operations are performed in many steps with intermediate annealing operations. So next we are going to see about some of the cold working operations. So in this cold working operations, so the main operations are drawing, squeezing and bending. So in the drawing process, blank drawing, tube drawing, embossing and wire drawings. These are all comes under drawing operations. Next, squeezing that is one is the coining process, sizing process, swagging forces knurling forces and excusal forces. So these are all operations. Okay, coining, seizing, sawing, knurling and excusal. These are all operations. Next, bending. In bending operations, first one is the plate bending, angle bending, roll forming and seaming. So these are these operations are comes under bending operations. So cold operations, working operation is divided into three types, drawing, using and bending. So this is the main process. Next we are going to see about what are the advantages of the cold working. There is no heating required. Next better surface finish can be obtained. Next, this process provides higher dimension accuracy. For example, there is no any deformations of the material. Due to no deformations, we can achieve the dimensions very accurately. So, thin metals or thin, thin materials can be obtained. So, we can work even the thickness of the material is too small. Next, the physical properties can be improved. So, it is more suitable for mass productions. So, these are all advantages of the cold working. Next, we are going to see about limitations of the cold working. There is no heating required. <coughs> limitations. Okay. So, for same. Higher forces are required for deformations. For example, there is no any heating required. Okay, due to no heating requir requisitions, we need high forces are required for deformations. We have to give some of the more load in order to change the shape or sizes. So, heavier and more powerful equipment are required. So, metal surfaces must be clean and scale free. Next, stress formation in this metal during cold working is very high. So, we have to apply more load for deformations. So,
so if we are giving the more load so the stress formations of the particular area will be more this process may produce undesirable residual stresses okay next we are going to see what is the comparisons what is the differences between the hot rolling and the cool rolling for example in hot rolling we have to heat the above recrystallization temperature but in cold rolling it is below recrystallization temperature so in hot rolling new crystals are formed but in cold rolling there is no any new crystals so while we are heating in hot working the metals becomes very hard but there is no any hardening of the materials in cold rolling so when we are heating what will happen it will elongates the metal will be elongates but in cold working there will be not uh, there will be no any elongations so there will be the elongation but not as much as in hot working so there will be less elongations next in hot working in hot working surface finish is not good so in cold working surface finish is very good next large size of the metals can also deform in hot working but there is a limit a certain size can be deformed in cold working so blow holes cracks get welded during hot working but ductility is obtained during cold working and it is useful for machining process next internal stresses are not formed okay in hot working but in cold working the stresses formation are occur in the metals so these are all comparisons differences between hot working and cold working thank you we can see next topic in next video